Is that George? Um, I'll switch it. Kev on stage, iPhone. You sent it? Is where I'm gonna send it. <laughs> oh, no! no! <laughs> uh, it was the wrong one. <laughs> a Verb's getting on the album? He's sending his verse right now? A Verb? The battle rapper? Yeah. Are you gonna get A noun? <laughs> <laughs> what about A adjective? That's what it is. Yours isn't popping up for some reason. Or you, you can text it, can't you? Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. Kev on stage, MacBook Pro. What up, Gooza? You know what I'm saying? You see? For the first time. I can't oh, text man. it because I don't have iMessage on this phone. This different? You oh, that's your phone. That's uh, not the back phone. No, this is, uh, yeah, yeah your oh, phone, but my phone. Yeah, I didn't bring the back phone today. That's why I'm talking so loud. Hey! You're right. Spilling the funky feet. I can drop it to you. MacBook. MacBook. That's fine. Is ADDs? Nope. That's, That's my old, my old laptop. That's I don't know why it's not popping up. What about the laptop I got? Absolutely all different. Melissa laptop. So this is absolutely my all different laptop. No, no, she's talking about mine. Uh, mm. Is Greg's coming up? Or Joshy? Mm. Well, you can send it to mine if you need to. What is it? I'll send it to you. To Josh. It's sending the dog. Oh, wait, here. I here you go, Kev. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the link? Yeah. Did you get it, Kev? Yeah. You want to send it to you? Yeah. You want to send it to Slack? That's fine. Mm-hmm. Amanda Seals? Yeah. Amen. Greg, we can't even work out until, like, November. I told you he said I could get a steroid shot, and then I just asked him if he could just give it to me now. I was like, no, I want the steroid shot. I do, though, because I want to lift. He was like, nah, man, do <laughs> two weeks. I was like, I want to lift tomorrow. Yeah. He's like, bro, you ain't a real athlete. The I was like, you don't know shot, that. He's going to miss you up even further. Nah, he said that'll be good. He's a doctor, Greg. But he told you to wait the two weeks. Can you come take a picture? Fair. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> for a ship station, and I want to do it looking like I'm doing merch. You don't even do that no more. You're all dressed up doing I merch. Like, you know, you I, I'm going to be taking that. Picture. You're going to look like undercover boss in there. <laughs> so that's a little mustache. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to call the Tyler Kevin back. I wonder how you could. What you just? Um, Why do you say I tap inward? It's a thing. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was looking at the views on our bonus content. Yes. They be watching them. For real? Yeah, like, at first it was a drop off. Here, my gosh. Did you just hear him complain that we didn't ask him and then I gave it to him and then he's going to say, I'm not just that? No, 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 no. I was no, I I do it in this. In the uh, Serena. Hmm? I do it in this. I just it. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you what feels weird having a watch on my right arm. I'm back on these Fitbit streets. Oh. I see you, man. Let's go back to being saying. This is what you should say, though. I see it on your thing. With your hand. Huh? Baby, like, but no, but you know how like how it is so you can't. <laughs> like I had to knock somebody out like the baby. <laughs> you know how it is that you can't work out like you said for a couple weeks. You know what it means, right? You gotta just be super strict on your. No, no, I can't lift. Oh, you still work, work out? Yeah. We do cardio together. I can do. I'll be doing an hour now, four miles an hour without holding on to the reps. Up or straight? No, like two inclined. Four, four hours. miles an hour. Four hours. Four. Four. No, 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 no. I do it for an hour, but four miles an hour. Oh, four miles an hour. Four like an two hour. incline for an, an, an hour without holding on. Really? Remember, I used to always have to hold on. I don't have to hold on anymore. You up at four? The whole time. It's a brisk. Nice. How many times do you go with Amaya? Uh, I do four times a week with him. I'm in there with him today. Yeah. We got to wait tomorrow. Because normally we do, the, we do the first of the 15th. I said, I need all of the 15th to work out. Wait for me on the 16th. <laughs> So you got legacy box and I got the other two or the three. Two. Or we stacked a lot of shirts on you, right? Two. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. This one's actually good. Let me do it though. There's one person in here. One. I rule the world. Imagine that. 
I free all my sons. I love them, love them, baby. Black we're gonna talk about that. Too. Wanna, I, do, you, do you have that same rule in your mind? If I rule the world, that it's unfit to share dairy products. Share dairy products. Like, like, say your wife was eating some cereal, you wouldn't be like, I ain't getting a couple spoons of that. No, I, that's what Tony said to me. She said sharing dairy products is disgusting. So like, no, milk, Melissa wouldn't do that. Cereal, ice cream. I don't care. I would share ice cream. Not to share ice cream. Like, 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 like the, if your wife needs some way, cereal, you wouldn't just give a bite to that and then give it back to her. That's disgusting to you. If you had a if you had a bowl of ice cream with a spoon, yeah. I, What's she's, disgusting? We she said sharing, sharing sharing dairy. She said dairy products. Because I said cereal. Cereal's gross. Ice cream is gross. I'm not saying dairy. <laughs> I don't care. You they don't build soup. <laughs> yes, you do. We I'm share ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, not not in a cone though. If I, if you get no, I very rarely do this either. That's exactly because how she says. She's like, that's this. She did that's the same gross. Motion. Because the people, I agree with the cereal. The, the cereal spoon, I give you. Cereal the and spoon soup. is like this. People only eat the top part. They never get the, the stuff that's in here. Nah, I, I feel like that's particular. We have person. licked each other yeah, in like, so many places. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine with that, but the ice cream really is terrible. where you draw the line. Let me tell you, I work at Equinox. This guy comes in the back office. It's, it's five of us back there. I'm the only black guy. He come back there, and he has his ice cream. And he's like, this ice cream is, man, you all need to try it. He was like, Oh no! Oh, this absolutely no. Hold on, hold on. This lady, like, mm, he doesn't dip, uh, dip it back and get no more. What kind of ice cream go, was it though? He don't even go back. It was ice cream. It was ice cream. She she does it, mm, and he's like, mm, like whatever, and it, it comes to me. And he dips. I was like, you really think I'm about to? It's always you? black people that end the little I thing. Said, I, I'm like, no, that's different. I'm like, what's that? No, no but listen, that's that's coworkers, and they didn't even re-dip. He yeah, went from his mouth to this one. He says this. He's like, you don't trust me? He re-dip for great. You don't know. I, mean, I, I don't think it doesn't matter you. what type of ice cream it Greg, was. Like, I tried it. That's me. Now, that's Chunky Monkey. I'm getting in on Come here, listen. Listen. Apricot mango. I oh have God, mango is not a listen, flavor. Listen, listen, okay, because you're thinking of like pink berry, like soupy ice creams. Okay, listen, no. listen to this. I have Hagen Dazs mango, which is strong ice cream. Oh, that's fire! <laughs> that you, that don't never get soupy. I take a bite. Mm. Oh, you want some, Liz? If I had a you new pint, scoop with this with the spoon. But a new scoop. Did new you scoop. clean the spoon yeah, though? Oh, you're talking about out of my mouth. And, yes. Oh yeah, that's gross. That's what, what? I thought you meant like sharing the spoon with ice cream. She's talking about, I'm like, oh, this, there's some left. That's too. I, what's, I don't yeah, know. No, that. if the spoon is clear, and where is my husband? So you, so you got to have a clear spoon to yeah. get yeah. You don't clear need, you don't need a clear, clear spoon. Clear spoon. Clear spoon. Clear clear spoon. Clear so clear like spoon it. makes it different for you. No, if you do you, that much, you, it's weird. Like, if you <laughs> lick it clean, it's too much. It's a naturally <laughs> clear spoon. It has to be naturally clear. It's too much. That's so, is cereal out of bounds for you? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. So you cereal. Take cereal. Oh, no. cereal always is dripping it's from the mouth. Drippy. It's dripping from the spoon to the bowl. And it's, and it's, it's milky. It's milk. I can't What's wrong with you? No. It's like backwash it in there. It's supreme it's backwash. Bad. Every time you eat cereal, the milk is always dripping Pretty out. Your when you slurp the spoon, it'd be just doing it. I just know it was like a second backboard. I was thinking until she said that. She was just Who's like, she? Tony. Tony. Oh, he was probably going to bring her up in the conversation. No, I'm just right. saying, like, you know, just with the uh, with eating off here, she was like, eating, sharing dairy products is disgusting. I was like, that's a thing? She was like, absolutely. I was like, no. Nobody ever told you that? No. no I want people don't be sharing cereal. If I like it, I want Man, it. And Melissa, yeah, the, right the boys, when they were little, they used to try to get some of her cereal. Uh, like, get the high thumb. She'd be like, just take <laughs> Just take the bowl. Just the question alone, <laughs> she imagines that like, it's, like, it's already in the air. Because like, kids, oh, when they. Oh, I can't drink off kids. Uh, uh, when they were really young. Uh, just trying like, to drink it through a swimming not, pool for whatever they eat. What? Even if they haven't eaten. Yeah. You just have residual stuff in your mouth all the time. <laughs> Cookie crumbs about orange juice, man. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Have <laughs> you seen Bianco's special? Yo, my sister, that was kind of funny. Bro, me and Melissa laughed so hard. He had this joke. He said he was with a young girl, and, and she was like, yo, let me close your eyes and put this in your mouth. He's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> she was like, come on, man. Just I want you to taste it. He's like, listen, <laughs> at my age, <laughs> you can't put stuff in my mouth. I got certain teeth for certain temperatures. <laughs> Hot stuff go on this side, cold stuff on this side, ice in the back. <laughs> you 
find me and put some gold on the hot tub. Mr. Rudd, I didn't even see the whole thing. You were dying, bro. Because I got a part right here that I can't. It got super hot and now I can't do cold stuff. Really? Yeah, I'm old, man. Chance the Rapper was on Carpool Karaoke, and I guess it's known that he doesn't eat vegetables at all. So he don't eat vegetables. So that tried. So they did a blind. They tried to give him like a blind taste test of vegetables. And the first one, uh, James Corden grabs is the carrot, and he's like, all right, open your mouth. He's like, hold on, bro, hold on. Like, <laughs> this one's not going to happen. Wait, why does that have a on vegetables? I guess he's just report. I mean, the video's online, but it's like, he's... What is he, seven years he's, old? He's, he's <laughs> gross. Man, they're nasty to me. You're an adult. Yes. Specific, no, that's, that's Eat it. Eat broccoli. <laughs> I wonder what his nutrients are like. His body's this like... This people stink. Oh, <laughs> you didn't eat no vegetables? He smokes cigs. Uh, he smokes he cigarettes? Anyway. Wait, he, he smokes don't? cigarettes and don't eat vegetables? He don't smoke no more. He oh, smokes man. weed, though, right? I'm sure, yeah. He raps about it a lot. Are you already? Yeah. Am I... Am I... Oh, check, hey. Check. Oh, I hear me. The right pack is here. Yes, her name's Tony. But y'all can keep calling her Barbecue Bay. It's better like that. Barbecue Bay's got a better range. Is that <laughs> Barbecue Bay is name, or is it? Her name is Tony. Yeah. Oh, is that why you like her? Like, oh, I, I get to say my own name. Oh, right. Oh, like the same time. name, huh? Hey, Tony. You want some of this? <laughs> yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Are we ready? Is this out of frame? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> It's out? Mm. All right. Whoops. What the hell? What did I just do? Hold on. <laughs> so I'm doing the first one? Oh, shoot. I messed up. I'm doing the first one? Yes, sir. All right. Don't be getting distracted by the comments. I don't be reading the comments like that. It's you, speedy. Mm. Righteous and Ratchet and Kev is back, and it's going to be a great day in Zamunda. Bye. Now, mind you, to the audience, I haven't been anywhere. Yeah. There's been no episode where I'm, I haven't been in there. So don't be like, ah, Kev's back. Like, there's, yeah, I've been But here we before. told them that you were going on vacation. No, no, I know but that. Yeah. But the like, video version of me, it ain't like you had co hosts while I was gone. True. So yeah. nobody's going to be like, we didn't miss him. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Oh, Liz, pre- what time are you leaving? Liz, in here, man. I like when we pray before the episode. You know, we have a meeting today, right? Yes. I have forgotten until this time. Thank you, Jesus. Go. God is good. God is great. I'm thankful for our food. By his hands, we are fed. In Jesus' name, we love our daily bread. Amen. We're not eating. Do the prayer. That's my favorite prayer. I'm going to get to it. He knows what I mean. He's going to file it in the right place. He's good. All right, you ready? I know where this goes. All right. No, I'm God is good. God will always last. Jesus, Lord, bless his podcast. Jesus' name, amen. You didn't have to run. <laughs> I'm just kind of mad. I'm not mad. Like, you know what's funny? When I was like 18, I, I was like, when, when should I stop saying now? Let me do this. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm about to go to college. I feel like I need to. Just a little young. I'm just like, nah, let me do this. I'm about to be in the dorm. I don't even want to be doing this. <laughs> then it's by my bed. My new roommate, like, nah, let me do this. <laughs> Nobody told you to cut off age for nah, nah let me do this. Nah, let me do this. <laughs> what is the age for that? I know. Like I don't know seven, I man. No, I was well into my 20s still saying it. I know that I was. You ready to do it? You ready? You ready? Well into my 20s. All right. Let's make sure we hit our R&Rs. All right. <laughs> what up? This is your boy, Dope Boy. Hello, friends. I'm Kevin Fredericks. And this is another installment of Started Off to the Right. Righteous and ratchet, and we are back off of man. He's on vacation, he had a coconut bra, and he is back in here with his hand, his wrist is broke. <laughs> hey, how y'all yes. doing today? I want to tell y'all before we start, I'm old. Wow. That's like a compression joint. I told yeah. you, stop trying to chase I the stopped pe- Doughboy out no. off camera and told him I had enough of his antics. What happened for real? But before you tell us the story, I want to get... Give out, give up, give out a special shot to the Patreon, the right pack. Those of them that are watching today is Tuesday, and they are watching us live right now. Mm-hmm. And you too can be a part of the Righteous and Ratchet experience. Just visit righteousandratchet.com. You can join for as low as five dollars. Five dollars, buster. And you get a free bonus episode that the rest of the world don't get every single week. And a bunch of other cool, free, exclusive stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, Nobody posts news in there. People drop off like flies. Shut up. <laughs> so, so what happened uh, to your wrist? You choked the pizza pocket again? <laughs> Get into my mouth. I'll have enough. The cold middle. <laughs> this is the last time. You you be warm all the way through the, through and through. What, what, um, what, what, what happened? 
stupid. He so said you went on vacation and came back with this. Ow. Hey, hey, hey. Was it even before I went on vacation, I was going to lift weights with my good friend Greg, mm -hmm. brother in law as well, but he's also my friend. Mm -hmm. And we were going to do some sort of muscle thing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to do that much. And I went to lift, and my wrist was like, ah! And I realized I had pain in my wrist. So I said, ah, oh, Greg, you won't be working out for the rest of this. <laughs> the rest of this week is ah. Then I was like, okay, if I go, go on the cruise and it still hurts, I'll go see the doctor. Mm -hmm. So on the first day of the cruise, they had been feeling better because I hadn't done no working out, no, no lifting right. in like three or four days. I go on the cruise and get a massage and totally forgot to tell her. Don't that, touch your man, wrist. Man, she was, might as well have been like, Mm, mm. But who like, rubs your wrist during the massage? That's it, weird. We paid for the extended package. Mm. We was in there for a minute. And she was like grabbing it hard and it was popping. And Why didn't you tell her to stop? Because I don't, I don't want to be weak like, ah, my wrist. Now you have down. a whole wrist I got brace. carpal tunnel. <laughs> That's just, this is the oldest thing ever. This, yeah, my grandma has this. Old, yes. You know, you really can't. I can't really yell at my kids like, "Hey, y'all, shut up and close that door." Bro. <laughs> like, oh, this I used old. to always think they used to. I used to always think it was pronounced carpool tunnel. I thought that you got it from driving in the carpool. I'm sure you thought that. No, shut up, my thing. But days. anyway, two weeks of this. So you got wear that for two weeks. Two weeks. Do you have to? Do you, can you take it off for the shower? Nope. Really? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be, I feel like your I'm wrist, an old man, okay? You know, I feel like your wrist had been tripping because remember you heard it and then people were shaking your hand and every time they shake it, you'd be like, ah, I'd be like, tell people to stop shaking your hand, Kevin. Oh, yeah. See? You just never listen No, no, that was my right hand. That was so both I, your wrists is just gimp. When I smacked the kid in the face. Yeah, that's, when, that's when he hit JoJo's friend at his birthday party. What's going on with your wrist, man? You're getting I'm weak old. in your wrist in your old. I'm telling you the worst part about being old. <laughs> I didn't even, like, fall and hurt my wrist. That'd it be just the messed be up hurt. part. Like, when you get past 30, bro, your body just be picking new things to hurt that day. Man. Like, yeah, man, your wrist is out for three weeks. You don't know it yet, but when you wake up, you'll find it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is the age thing, but you know I'm on my, my weight loss journey. My body is fighting against me, apparently. Oh, Apparently yeah. failure is an option, so you know I got this this weight loss. I gotta weigh in tomorrow. I was supposed to be two seventy two. Mm -hmm. my, my trainer told me don't weigh yourself only twice a month. But I of course be not listening to that advice. I get on it every day, several times a day. Doughboy took his scale on the road with him. Absolutely. And then you packed the scale. And absolutely. And you put that through the metal detector. I did. You it put was, in your carry on. I did. It was a whole thing. But this is the messed up part. So I weigh in. I'm supposed to be to 272. This is the messed up part. I was 276 two weeks ago. So I was like, ah, 272 would be nothing. This would be a breeze. I got on the scale the other day. Friday was 280. I was like, what? So then I do what I normally do. I panic and I starve myself. So I said, I won't eat today and I'll sit in the sauna for an hour. Came the next day. I didn't sit for an hour, but it was like 20, 30 minutes. It was ridiculous. Oh, okay. So I'm like, ah, oh, at least six to seven pounds. Went back the next day, 285. I was like, okay. Okay, scale. <laughs> so, so apparently there's different things that can make you hold on to water, like salt. Mm -hmm. If you eat food that's high in salt, it can make you hold on to Do you have a, a high-sodium diet? I let Kiara season the shrimp the other day. It was a lot. She was putting a little bit of everything. Hey, one, one meal ain't going to do said, it. I want to blame her. I want to blame somebody else for this. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the cake that I ate for breakfast that day. But nah, so apparently I gotta weigh in tomorrow. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but I keep putting, but putting up work, workout videos with my shirt off. I don't know why. Why though? I, 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 I wanna be inspired. I want to fight through it. Because I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, one day I'll have abs and I can go back to this footage and be like, ah, oh, I'm inspired. But all I, I keep seeing is me. All I just keep seeing is me just being fat. Like y'all put no shirt on and sweat. You're inspiring people because I saw those videos and I was like, I'm not gonna be the fat friend. <laughs> you did that. Tahir had on a large. Uh, Tahir's getting slim out here. Yeah, he had a large jacket on for the first time in forever, and I was like, oh, so y'all teaming up against me, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I broke my wrist, and I was like, the Lord wants me to be who I am. <laughs> Do I love you at your worst? <laughs> Well, let's get into this, you know what, I just want to say one more thing okay. before we get into this. This is really the first thing. Okay. I was in my mind, like, I'm about to start back. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! I'm going to be eating so right! I got on that cruise ship. I was like, nope. <laughs> the first day? Oh, my Let's talk God. about your vacation. How bad was it? Because you put... Oh. I don't know if I follow Kev on Instagram. He put up a picture... <laughs> this is how I knew he had oh, fallen completely man. off the road. I was offended. He had no shirt on, was in a bed, had like half a 
dozen eating chocolate covered strawberries, but then with other people didn't notice there was a, a tray of sandwiches that he, I'm like, who is eating sandwiches Not just and a tray of sandwiches. The crusts were cut. Bro, you out here being bougie now, with your you, green? Let me tell you the truth about the sandwich picture. <laughs> there was triple the amount of sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, that was the residual <laughs> sandwiches that I just couldn't get to. You couldn't reach to them? Man, we had, we got upgraded. Okay. Right? Because apparently this cruise was like super light. They upgraded us into this special cabin area called the Haven. That just sounds like it's a lot of food. Bro, special key card to get in. Butler. That sounds good. But, like Butler? Butler. So they'll get you whatever you want? Like, is, that an is it all included? All inclusive. Oh, this is some different so levels. Tell, tell me about she some brought, of the stuff you so ate. This is the thing. She was bringing those, those sandwiches and cookies and candies, treats every day. They're like, Mr. Kevin. It's we know you want right. something. Oh man, I had to do not. I turned the do not disturb off, and they called like, "Hey, before we you know you want something. before you lay down, hey, do you want some sandwich? What? <laughs> do I look like I don't want sandwiches? <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> and chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate so, covered strawberries. That was just dough. Tell me, I, give me a list of the stuff that you were eating out okay, there, man. So, Run it down to me. Cheeseburgers. Here's can't the best go wrong. Thing. First off, you can never go wrong with the cheese. The perfect breakfast time is 10.30 to 11. They're switching over breakfast and lunch. So it's not really a brunch like supposed to be, right. but they'll have eggs and cheeseburgers. Like, this is right up my alley. Oh, yeah. You specifically said this would be the know. one thing you wouldn't do. When I looked around, I didn't see you or Josh, and I was just like... <laughs> Cheeseburgers, first thing in the mouth? Oh! oh. It's a way, to, and then having bacon on the side, like with eggs, I'm like, oh, I put the bacon on my burger. Bacon and cheeseburger. You didn't say I couldn't do it. <laughs> this is protein. So that, in the Haven, they had a special restaurant just for the Haven guests. Oh, what was in this restaurant, Kevin? And we had way was rancheros for breakfast, caramelized banana pancakes, not even light bananas. And you I was eat, eating that. I was eating like, banana pancakes? I didn't even wear my wife beater the whole trip. I felt like that's probably what women feel like with their bra off. I was just like, I'm loose. I'm loose. And when I was walking to the, the shower, I was like, don't look at me. I look like Queen Latifah and Bessie. So I was ordering room service. What? Man, I ordered room service in the middle of the night. What room you service? Ordered? 24 hours of cheeseburgers. There was a lot of cheeseburgers. You eat cheeseburgers no matter what the time of day is. Midnight, 6 a.m. Cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers like evening burgers, cheese burgers, afternoon burgers. Wings, cookies. Man, we went to Mexico, got off, yeah, ate real Mexican food, came back, ordered the That's the thing about them cruises. Food. It's almost like when you go to the casino, like they don't have no clocks or windows, so you don't know. I think when you're on a cruise, all you see is just food, but you don't ever really see the gym. I Literally. saw the gym and I was looking down on them like, don't look at me. <laughs> Did you work I, out at all? What? <laughs> yeah. I walked right past the gym to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville at sea. <laughs> I went nacho, sir, it's 8 a.m. I said nacho. <laughs> Put some cheese in my belly button. I want to dip a chip in there. So you was living your best life. Man, and then the best part is me and Melissa have been on so many vacations together. Mm -hmm. We've had all the same experiences. And since we've been going so hard travel-wise this year, we didn't want to do too many crazy excursions because we did all that stuff like, like dolphin You gotta be riding. careful in Mexico too, man. So you don't want anybody to steal your kidney no, and man, wake you up in a bathtub stop. full of ice. <laughs> you gotta stop living in fear. The people really do get robbed for their kidneys. Your kidney too big to take out. You're gonna be like, man, we don't. What are we gonna do with we need these? A wheel, <laughs> None of these organs are gonna be good for anything. We can't sell these on Yelp. You don't be scared. You don't ever watch that show Locked Up Abroad? Yeah. I'd be afraid to get off the ship. So nah, yes. man, you gotta live your life, bro. You could fall down the stairs and break your head open and die, and then you could have been in Mexico. Nah, man. Yeah, so, man. So, yes. So what you got to do for some of the discussions? We didn't do none. We did no official stuff. So you was just eating. The first two or three nights, we fell asleep before nine o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. We were wait, the wait, first. Wait, no, night. I'm not gonna just scooch past that. How old are you? So like you're on a cruise going to bed at nine p.m. Man, me and Melissa was like, we're gonna go to karaoke at ten tonight. We're like, and let me tell you how old we are. <laughs> we taking a nap at seven thirty. Like, we'll set the alarm for. 9.30. That way we wake up refreshed. Man, that alarm went off. I was, cuz, who is this? <laughs> ah! We went to sleep at 7.30 the first night. What? You were on vacation. Who pays money just to go sleep? You know man, what, man? Sometimes the best part of vacation is not doing anything. I've learned, sometimes you do too much. 
on your vacation. It can give you a vacation anxiety. Vacation fatigue. Yes. Mm. We were in Mexico with jo We weren't doing anything. She's uh, at A and M. Started uh, at that trip. I'm not gonna lie. When we went to Hawaii and then we went on that one trip where I had my Grand Hills on, we walked up that thing. I was just. That like, was terrible. I, was just, I wanted to just sit. You should go on a vacation and do nothing. But I realized about myself, it is hard to relax. Work for me is. You were relaxing. posting a lot. I was like, stop posting. Don't sit down. All I promise, yeah. Melissa called me a hypocrite, by the way. And then somebody on the internet said, Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> that really just popped in your head? <laughs> that quickly? Mm -hmm. I just barely said hypocrite. <laughs> I, was I don't want to finish my story. God, I was like, mm, chips. Chip she, was, <laughs> she was like, I was, I was, because I finished Top Boy, didn't it? And, uh, How was it? Ah! Both so of them, there's good. two Top Boys. Now, the, the old the one, one. The, oh, it's, the one it's, with like four episodes, and then... So it has Duchesne in it, okay. but <laughs> it's not, it's not a variation of the show. I feel like it's a, uh, it's like a prequel for the one that just came out. Yeah. Oh, but okay. they don't really correlate to the fact where you need to see that one in order to understand the new one. So you watched them? Watched watch Top them? Boy. It's good. That right before the vacation. Yeah. So I made a Top Boy video and she was like, you, you being a hypocrite because you be getting on Doe Boy and Josh about stuff they said they're going to do and they don't do. And here you go. You said you're going to make no videos. And I was just like, you're right. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to make it. So then for the next three hours, I was just like, <laughs> you gotta just let so no, but at the time she was like, just make a little video, just know that you know you trash. You know you trash. No. Like just be honest. And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna make it. Did you make it? Man, I, I had it to. was good though. I couldn't you have, you gotta oh, give I couldn't even I couldn't I even relax. And sometimes this is a vacation related or not. Sometimes when I have an idea in my head about anything, mm -hmm. even when Josh, when we were trying to figure out how to get the spades thing working. Josh can tell you, I will be texting him pictures at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. If I get an idea, I would have to like draw it out on the picture. I was like sitting in the county. When I finally figured out how to shoot the spades mm -hmm. thing, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. So when I had the top of the video in my head, it doesn't matter whether it's a good video or not. It's, it's just, just the like ideas the, the lines were just running in my head. And I'm like, I, I, but you got to give yourself a chance to, uh, this is what I like to call as dumping. Just dump all the stuff out of your head and just go blank. I was on the boat for seven days. You tried. I tried. Bro, okay, I didn't I didn't scroll the internet for videos. If you notice my whole timeline, it was mostly stuff that I put on my story it's a lot of that stuff I just here. reposted on my main page. Most of the stuff the camera wasn't even facing me. Like one video was just the people getting stuck in this water ride. I didn't know. How'd even... that happen? That's so always my biggest fear as a man of girth. Bro, half of the <laughs> half, stuck in water. And I'm slide. fearless. Right. But not fearless. So she went through the <laughs> tube and then it was just like, nah, fam, get out. Bro, half of that tube is on the outside of the cruise ship. Oh, it right. hangs off the boat. Yeah, uh, so what happens when you get stuck, they have hatches all over. You could get stuck in a variety of places. Why would you want to do that? People was jumping off cliffs into the water? What's wrong? With you? Those are professional. Those are professional. Nah. They were like, no, for real. What like classifies a professional like cliff jumper <laughs> if you make it or not? I, I don't understand. Yes, that is it. They do it for a living. They get paid to do it. They've been doing it their whole life. If you get paid to do it, you're a professional. That's fair. But you're you can have a off day and end up with that face you off. You could. <laughs> and apparently, in the ground, so when he jumps off that thing, there's only five feet of water. Hold on. So not what? only are wait, they wait. jumping through those rocks, there's only so he hit his head on, on the, the ground. ground. On the on. Why would you do that, bro? Because he came they up bloody. No, nah, he was just like I just nicked. They him. jumped into five feet of water. How do you not die? They had been doing this. They were kids. So apparently, so when they so when you go up, down, you just. They know how to die to not hurt themselves. They start when they're young, way down, and as they grow older, they go all the way to the There was ground. a kid in my neighborhood when I was growing up. He got paralyzed like that. He jumped, he dove into shallow water. Broke his neck. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what, just dive into five feet of water? Were cool segregated then? When you were coming up? Shut up. You know they were throwing bleach in there with you and Shut up, man. So you had a good time. The overall was, it was fun. It was good. It was about a day or two too long. That has happened to me before. You be on vacation sometimes and be like, all right, I'm over it. Man. And that happened to me and Melissa, and this sounds elitist, and I don't mean it to be. Yeah. But that sixth day, we were just like, okay. No, I, like, cruise food, is it's it's great, it's great. But after a while, it's like, okay. You put me up on game, so there's different there's different levels of, as far as, like, like because um, I've, I've done nothing but carnival. You haven't even been on You're saying that, car, you that carnival that. is not necessarily. Carnival is like Circus Circus of, of Las Vegas hotels. You've been to Circus Circus? No. Oh, you only been in Carnival one time. I mean, you only been to Vegas one time. Um, but did you guys get like say, some pictures and stuff from from when you guys were out there? Did you get some stuff to save we, the memories? 
We did get some pictures. I was going to do my memory. own segue. Okay. <laughs> I know how. I was like, you know, you're not doing I, I it. Was, I forgot it was my turn first. <laughs> okay. But you try to line that up. I mean, you know, we got some pictures on our vacation, did though, you know? Now? But there's some video in my life that I just missed. <sighs> when I was a young lad, mm -hmm. I was playing basketball. Mm -hmm. I had a game against Yale. 26 and 10. Mm, this, huh? this is when you were on JV for four years. Yeah, this is when I made it to varsity, actually, my first season. <laughs> I had a three. I blocked somebody's shot out of bounds, mm. but it's only in my memory. Mm. I hit up my old coach on Facebook. Guess what? What? He has the tape. No. Sent me the tape. But can I do anything with the tape? <gasps> no, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't have a VCR player. Mm -mm. But thanks to Legacy Box, that tape has just been sent in to be made. Mm. All my high school highlights from before iPhone cameras and my best basketball game of my JV career slash one year of varsity where I got to start three games is coming back to life through Legacy You box. still had a hairline at this time. Still had a hairline. Ooh. Still was thin. I had an Adam's apple. Uh, hopes you had green. a neck? I was under two horns oh. for the last time. Oh, the days. The I'm times. not getting under two horns or no more. Mm -hmm. Oh, Legacy Box, that video is coming back to me digitized mm. so I can show my kids how amazing I am. Was Legacy Box is the world's largest and most trusted digitizer of home movies and videos and photos. With over a decade of experience, Legacy Box has been trusted by over 450,000 families to digitally preserve family memories. When we were growing up, we didn't have the luxury of having all our home movies in digital format. Nah. You grew up during the silent film era. I did. So a lot of time, home movies went unseen for long periods of time. Legacy Box has really been able to bring those memories back to life. And mine is on the way back. It was so important for me to be able to keep those memories that I'm so thankful that I sent them into Legacy Box. Send in your Legacy Box filled with old home movies and pictures. They'll do the rest. Legacy Box will professionally digitize your moments into a thumb drive, digital download, or DVD. Legacy Box will also send you easy to follow instructions. You'll get all your original recorded moments back mm. along with perfectly preserved digital copy. Mm. There has never been a better time to digitally preserve your memory. Visit LegacyBox.com today to get started. Plus, for a limited time only, they're offering our listeners an exclusive discount. Go to LegacyBox.com slash RR to get 40% off of your first order. Go to LegacyBox.com slash RR and save 40% today. Get started preserving your past. Man, that was a nice little week, man. Okay. We right. back. Now jump on into the well, docket. Let's get on into the docket now that you're back. Now, speaking of female celebrities that were being apparently treated unfairly at black Oscar parties. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Seals. I, 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 I want to say something. My name is speaking of. While I was on vacation, uh, Zay Zay goes, Hey, father. I go, Hey, son. How was your day, dad? Oh, it's great. How are you enjoying your vacation? I'm having a great time. How are you? Great. How's Uncle Greg? Oh, he's a lot of fun. Ten minutes go by. Speaking of WWE 2K20, <laughs> oh, I ordered man. it and I pre-ordered it. <laughs> I was like, nobody was speaking. Well of played, <laughs> Well, shout out to Zay. <laughs> he, he's been he here. Because he knew nobody would have made you laugh. He made me laugh. I'm a sucker anyway. Hey. I'm the sucker parent. You anyway. get somebody laughing. But you want to, you want to make me laugh? Yeah. The game is yours. <laughs> but yeah, speaking so of so Amanda uh, Seals. Now apparently she got drunk <laughs> on Twitter because of the situation. She basically got denied entry into an Issa Rae party. As she no, missed. no, no, not an Issa Rae party. It was, that's what no, I No, no, it was a black Emmy Hollywood party. Issa Rae was in attendance. Oh, was it Issa's party? No, it oh, was thrown by Issa's publicist. Oh, so I had it wrong. Get your facts straight. I put together this whole pretty document with bad information, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, so then that, so she, she showed up to a party. That was thrown by Issa Rae's publicist, who, for all intents and purposes, wasn't really rocking with her. She publicized that she does not like her. <laughs> so basically, um, public service announcement: <laughs> I don't like her. So now coming to my party event. <laughs> so she shows up, and she's like doing the whole thing. So basically, they wouldn't let her in, and she caused the whole stink about it. 
and was like really like kind of going and talking to security like yo why can't I get in and the lady was like I said you can't get in otherwise yeah. I'm in so the publicist stepping uh, yeah, in like they were like go get her she'll like, know get like, like, here it is no no you go away from here man. so it was like a whole big thing and she was kind of like talking like yo didn't nobody stand up for me I'm on this whole show and I was the whole time I'm watching this this uh, presentation of the facts, I'm like, I'm kind of like on the side of Amanda. Like, uh-huh. yo, this is wrong. It's another black woman getting treated wrong. This isn't This isn't right. I didn't like it. And then they got to talking about apparently some, some members from the cast. To Rich Jackson. Yes. It was basically, he got on record and was like, yo, well, you know, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but if you're not a pleasure to be around, just take the hit, leave. Mm-hmm. So then that made me be like, well, that's a bold statement from a, from a co-worker, and then, you know, you don't hear anybody, like, kind of come into a defense from the show. How do you feel about uh, Amanda Seals? And they were getting at her on Twitter. Twitter will drag you. Here's the thing, oh, man. Whatever I have a couple thoughts. Okay. One, a lot of people do not like Amanda Seals. I never knew I, that. I, I, I've met, I, I've met I Amanda Seals. Knew. She actually used to live across the street from me not too long ago, but um, I met her Isn't before. In, in uh, your area of town no more? No, she no. moved on up. Yeah, she yeah, she yeah, she had it there. Mm-hmm. A couple of years ago, I remember she lived across the street. Y'all was at the same level before. You always hold on to that. Yeah, but I, I have my day in the sunshine. Oh, day. What? I'm, you gonna be in the hot hills? I'm grinding. But I've met her. She's a sweet young lady. She's never been nothing but nice to me. Like I don't and like I like you know how sometimes you like maybe if you think somebody's cool and then everybody else like kind of like maybe how you are me. You'd be like I know those cool. Everybody else would be like ah. Oh, like, but, like, I've met her before, so if people were saying things, I'd be like, I don't see anything that she's not cool. Mm-hmm. But apparently people... Man, that's one of my fears about the internet. I feel like people be, like, just waiting for something to happen where they right. can be like, and I never liked you anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, I always feel like that happened because people did not like her. Like, it wasn't like... I was wondering, like, if that happened to... I'm trying to think of a celebrity that I don't know if anybody can say they have uh, hard feelings about. Like, right. Essence Atkins. Right, nobody really seems to feel a way about Essence Atkins. I don't know who Essence Atkins is. Essence Atkins, oh, dude, learn your black woman. You've seen Essence Atkins. She she been on Marlon's show before. Oh, you know Essence Atkins. Oh, she's on the Marlon show. Yeah. She's the uh, the, she's, the mom. She's his ex-wife. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. No, you never heard nothing bad about Essence never. Atkins. So if Essence Atkins got kicked out of a party, you'd be like, why? You and you'd be surprised that it happened. Mm-hmm. No one was surprised. But people are like, and that's what you get. It was that's like crazy. that. But on the other side, mm-hmm. me, Kevin Frederick, right. there's very few people I don't get along with, mm-hmm. but there's some people here. Mm-hmm. You know a name or two. Mm-hmm. If that person threw a party, say it's for YouTubers, black, mm-hmm. who live in the valley in Southern California, <laughs> who used to work at ADD. With, with, with risk support. If where? he invited a party <laughs> for that and didn't invite me, you get it. I would not go and be like, but this is like, like basically, and I don't, Amanda Seals' own mouth, she was basically like, I mean, but come but on, I'm guys. Even, I mean, not only is I mean, but it's like, this is good times. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah. That guy's over there. Yeah. I want to be like him. You know how embarrassing <laughs> it is to get close and hear uh, the music, see your friends, like, hey, hey, hey what's up? up? I ain't going to let me go get the girl. <laughs> Yo, you got her. Hey, 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 Roger. Hey. Remember Roger? Yeah, 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 clear this all up. Roger nah. always clears things up. Okay. <laughs> and then Roger comes and like, no, you actually got to leave. The security threw her out, and, she, and then the security was like, I'm, I'm sorry, man. That's the most humbling thing, not getting into something that you think you should be in. I was but, talking to Melissa about this. She was like, you get kicked out. You have to make a scene. See, At that point, I got to be like, invested. oh. You can't body it, yeah. This, this y'all going to do me like this? Me? <laughs> hey, sales? Y'all going to throw me out the, after everything? I'm it's didn't training day. Training day. But see, that's the thing that I kind of felt like, okay, so whoever the, 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 young, it. the, whoever the young lady is, that wouldn't let her into the party. I guess at my point, this is where I will have come to Amanda's defense. Wasn't really that serious. Here's the funny part like, about it. Let me finish my part. Let me finish my part. Okay, part. but you, you skipped the great oh, part. Yeah. But go ahead, finish your okay. part. Because my thing is just like this. You made a whole big deal out of this. Like, was she going to come and ruin your part? Like, and I, I guess I would just need to know what your reasoning is for making this whole... If I don't like you... I don't like you. See, you that, know I don't like you. Nah, you see, know I didn't invite you. So so then let me let me let me hit you with this, because you and I have talked about this before. 
a lot of a lot of times in Hollywood, you have what's called this gatekeeper mentality yeah. to where there's certain people in certain positions, and if you get on the bad side of certain people that aren't necessarily the you know on yeah, camera yeah, talent yeah. or whatever, they can kind of hold these vendettas against you, and then when they get that chance to burn you, they're gonna burn you. Yeah. My biggest thing is like this. This young lady is a star on that show. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like unless it, unless you felt she was going to go in there and be a detriment and no, a liability to your party, I don't you like, like you. Should've let her in. I didn't invite you. You know I don't like you. Now, here's the thing that's funny. Uh-huh. She saw Issa Rae. He like, Issa. 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 And Issa was like, pigs. <laughs> they are currently shooting Insecure. Right. Right now. Right. She was like, come on, man, talk to your girl. You know, she was like, me and Issa was like, eh, let's come between you. <laughs> I don't even want to get in there. Right? No. Absolutely. Have you seen Awkward Black Girl? That is literally an episode of Awkward Black Girl. You put Issa in a weird position and thought she was going to be like, I'll get you. And she was just like, Gotta get in the middle yeah. of things. It's kind of like the thing I don't like to do. I literally wrote a whole web series ah. about it. Ah. It's kind of weird, man. I'm gonna see y'all on set. This is the best episode to go in there and have fun, and your homie at the door and can't get in. He's like, ah, the music buff. He's like, you look over there. He's just like, he's like, ah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just dance this way. Was, uh, you know everybody was into like. But see, this was an interesting thing. Okay, when, tell me. When she was talking, and this was like where it was definitely sensitive to me because the video that you had sent me over to watch, apparently she she turned it into like a race thing because apparently the lady was white and her name was Kiara. So I, I kept hearing the name Kiara. I'm like, I'm standing in my baby. So First um, of all, it was a white lady named Kiara. Kiara. That's- That's- that's, let's start the story. Let's, let's yeah, just say it's, more it's, questions than answers. This yeah, the first word is a white woman named Kiara. In my life, I've never I've seen. Never met one. Maybe it was Kira, and she's just like, nah, Kiara. Yeah, I'm hanging right. with these guys, man. We're gonna it's, switch up the pronunciation. It's a good time. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> so, do you feel like it was a race thing? Like, because I feel like that's kind of like no. The black an granny issue. was like, I don't like you, me, like, no. the black woman. Yes. I don't like you, the other black woman. <laughs> you go away to the black night, get in your Uber black. <laughs> Go get some tonkatsu black ramen (laughs) and take your black butt to your black house. I don't want you here having fun. Person doesn't like you, and you're like, oh, maybe they just didn't invite me. Like they forgot to send the invite. That's not the case. If, but, if they know they don't like you, but I'm gonna lie though. Like it's, I don't want to say it's an ego thing, but I feel like if you're in Amanda Seals, you're on a very highly successful show, and you're the public. Like I would just think like, ah, right, you might not like me, but you gonna let me in this party though. That's no, how I, I, I can. It's see her that life. sentiment. I could feel a man that sells me wow, like, bro, like, it's not we even don't even get like, stuff like this, bro. Come on, like man. That, and that's and that's just where I feel like I wish the lady just would have gave her a message. Nah, man, stand on your principle. Really? If we beefing, we beefing. I'm here for the principle. Keep that same energy. Listen, it's my party. If if, nah, if me nah. and you fall out and everybody knows it and you have a party and you don't invite me. I'm not even gonna give you the chance to embarrass me like that. I would rather throw <laughs> a competing party across the street and try to get people to come before I ever let you get me thrown out. You don't win when you're the one that can't. You how you hang from outside the okay, club? Okay, okay, okay. No, but see, you that's even get in. But see, that's the thing. Okay, that's. I'm glad that she you said it. that. Chris Brown supposed to be better than Usher. You didn't even get the reference. I, 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 I was thinking of my. You just want to talk. I did. I don't have a So this is the thing. Words now. It doesn't say it. I say it. It doesn't say it. I say it. Let me say it. So that's the thing that I'm looking at. It wasn't between Issa and Amanda. It was between Issa's people and Amanda. So now I've got a great question. If I'm throwing a party Mm -hmm. and the person that's running my door don't like you, and you know that me and you cool, you're not going to let nobody tell you you can't come into my party. You wouldn't. You'd be like, bro, go get dough. Like She's not throwing her party. It was her party. It was that woman's party. Okay, it, so it wasn't it like was an insecure party. party. Okay. It, it was an insecure it, party. It was it, okay. Wasn't so insecure, it, there okay. was an insecure table at this party, but it was a young black Hollywood party. Yes, yeah, so you're insecure. Right, okay, if so you're it really wasn't insecure, my party. Like yourself, you're going to be insecure <laughs> soon because you're not so if So, so if, if my publicist was having a party and you knew that I was in the building, let's just, let's just flip it around. If your publicist didn't like me and I know that you're at a party, well, no, I guess no. They don't, we, but we're, you're, 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 you're under whose under, party is it? The it's the person that's the and, and the publicist catch you at the door. Yeah, they don't like, no. like you, but yeah. Kev's inside. Uh-huh. And it's the publicist's party. party. Right. It's not Kev's party. 
That's what I'm saying. But you know I know Kev. But Kev, I'm mad that my people Texas at all costs. Kev knows <laughs> that you and the publicist has issues. Right. So now you done brought Kev into the situation. That's why he's right. going like, ah, I got to go. That's right. exactly what I'm saying. So if I couldn't get into your party, so let's just say. It's for, not his party. Okay, okay. That's a complete situation. Let's just say for argument's sake, Josh is the person running your party. And me and Josh don't get along. And but me and you do. But it's not and his he, party. I know, and you're throwing the party. This is in Camarillo. Okay, this and this is house. your party, and, and, and but it's like for for all the podcasters or whatever worldwide. And I and know that you're gonna be there, and I know it's a good look for me. If I show up, and you I'm know, like, here's a better thing okay. to make it fair, okay. because we actually are friends. Right, right, okay, so yeah. say somebody that we work with at ADD. Okay, that we just work together. We, we got some okay. it. We, person we, X. we got someone in mind. Person right. X. Okay, person okay. X. Person okay. X is at a party. Uh-huh. Okay, and and Josh is throwing a party. Josh and person X don't get along. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And we're at Josh's party for young influencers. Mm-hmm. And person X is at the door like, yo, man, they ain't let me in, man. Go get Josh. There is like, no oh, way. I'd be like, bro, I mean, that's There is no way. Like, uh, bro, I mean, that's there is no that's way. Between y'all. That's between y'all, bro. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I got a sandwich in one hand. Okay. Lunch. Right. I don't want to get into the whole hullabaloo. My stomach's but I just think how I work. I, 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 just, just now, you get, go to bed. Now, you kicked out. You kicked <laughs> no, see, so now we just did it again. Now we just looking like this. And I got a, I a whole, it was bringing down the shrimp. And a whole thing of shit. I saw him preparing in the back. It wasn't overly salted. It was crazy. the other thing. Like, I don't want to jump in and get embarrassed too. Uh-huh. You want me to kick that bar. It's, okay, I get it. You, you were running the velvet rope. <laughs> yeah, uh, come on, bro. I did. It was Cam's party. Right, then it's different. It's completely okay. different. So that's where I was but messing up. That's what she said, though. Party. She did say, and this is where it gets a little murky. She said somebody invited her. Somebody else invited Somebody her. else invited her that she knew. And it was like a Jordan thing. And she was like, this. Oh, she was like, what? <laughs> and and the like, girl was just like, no. Nah, <laughs> you can't She's come like, But in. you're not. <laughs> you're not. I, I saw your name on the list. I erased it. I mean, I, I mean and from what the, the kind of how Amanda was speaking, it was pretty much a scary situation. It was. It was a scary situation. Much like Halloween. Halloween is a, is a scary season. holiday. And it's on the way, which means it's time to break out the rubber spiders, fake cobwebs, and jack o lanterns if you've got family, you might be dealing with something a little scarier right now. Shopping for life insurance. If the idea of looking for life insurance intimidates you, try PolicyGenius.com. Now listen, <laughs> PolicyGenius is an easy way to shop for life insurance online. In minutes, you can compare quotes from top insurers to find your best price. Once you apply, the, poly, poly, the Policy Genius team will handle all the paperwork and red tape. And Policy Genius doesn't just make life insurance easy. It can also help you find the right home insurance, auto insurance, and disability insurance. This October, take the scariness out of buying life insurance with Policy Genius. Go to policygenius.com, get quotes, and apply in minutes. You can do the whole thing on your phone right now. Policy Genius, the easy way to compare and buy life insurance. Ah, when we don't get to say R R, I just feel. I just feel waiting. Now it is. It doesn't feel complete. complete. R R. So, so where do we land on the whole thing for Amanda? Should she have just? What is there a different, a different way she should have handled this? Yeah, she should have just stayed home. I bet she didn't think it was gonna go. I bet she probably was like, in her mind, she was like, "There's no way this one person will be at the door to thwart me." Let me tell you what. True story happened. I was invited. I don't know if you were there. You might have been there. Greg was definitely there. Invited to that power release party in New Orleans at Essence. Fest. I was gonna oh, go to that, but I was I walked through. Me. Okay, I got Greg with me. I got Mel. I got my mother. I got like six people with me. You know, the person who invited me mm-hmm. is like, Kev, can you please pull up to our power party? We need some influencers there. You know, what I'm saying VIP treatment the whole night. Mm-hmm. Okay, now mind you, I'm an older man. You are. Okay, this party was like 11:30. Mm-hmm. I was in my hotel room before, like, man. I'm tired, but they texted me like, man, we want to go Melissa's mom. Melissa's mom was the ringleader. Are we going out like, man? <laughs> <laughs> but Essence is like her freak nick or spring break. Like, Essence is just freak nick in spring break for older black people. Absolutely. So, like, I want to go to the, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to do my shoulder shimmy. So, I'm like, I can't leave my people out there. I'm going to make sure they up. get in. I'm going to look around. I'm going to get a, a ginger ale, and I'm going to sneak out the back door. Mm-hmm. We get to the front. 
Okay, the guy who invites me is like, oh, Kev, you're here. So glad. Come right to the front of the VIP line. Skip the line. Mm-hmm. So you know I'm feeling myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You feel me. Y'all good? People recognize me on the street. Hey, 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 God hey, bless you. I'm okay. God bless yeah, yeah. you. Chris was healthy, so right. I was feeling good about myself. God mm-hmm. bless you. He leaves because they're holding the line for a second. Let's just hold the line, which I've never been to a club. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. They sometimes hold the line just so the club looks like there's a line. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes, because that. when we went in there, they were like, we had capacity. This was the biggest room I've ever been in. It's like an old museum. Space all over the place. So it was a bunch of room in there. Bunch of room. We holding the line. We had capacity issues. Okay, so I'm like, dang, you must be packed in there. I'm just going to be lit. Because that's to the naked eye driving by. Like, what's going on over there? You go, and also at this time, they send their camera person around Mm -hmm. to get B-roll of the thing. All the sneaky little marketing tricks. Now, when our line's out the doors, because there ain't no room. Yeah, yeah, it's lit. The line lady doesn't know who I am. Mm. We're not letting anybody in right now. We're not going to be letting anybody in for the rest of the night. I'm like, man. But the guy was just here. And the guy just inexplicably disappears. No, he came right back. And then he wasn't even He's like, up? ma'am, come on. Like, we got to let you in. He's like, I got to speak to my supervisor. He's like, ma'am, I'm, I'm throwing I'm this me. party. Like, right. <laughs> but I mean. I'm the one throwing the party. But what happened is he hired a, peep, a group of people to run the party. And then so she hired. didn't know that he's the guy. The guy. Mm-hmm. She knows her supervisor for the event right. is not this guy. So he's like, ma'am, I... I'm your de facto supervisor. Like, please let listen him to in. me. Because now he's looking like now I'm trying to. Get you mean he looking like a whole goofy? I got trying to get into more events. He ain't even getting in this event. He, I didn't want to come like that. Like, was, I, I mean, was, was he able to get you in? Twenty five minutes later, and that's like a year of time. Oh my god, that's about as long <laughs> as you're planning on staying. Especially right. when you don't want to be there. That's the point. Like, like, I don't want to come. Yeah. So th- you're not doing me no injustice. Yeah. However, you I got realized. Yes, and she was on the biggest power trip about being able to be on the other side of that velvet rope. Like, like the lady man. that remember that one day when we went and we were flying and your and your 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 suitcase was fifty two pounds and that lady sat there and oh made you taking everything I'm out. out. American like, Airlines, and then she was like, "No, no," and I was just like. You're, you're, this is, you're being an Like, idiot. it's not 10, 12 pounds right. over. it's two pounds. And it wasn't really, even full two, 1.2. Right. And she really sat there and made you take everything yeah. out. And your so other bag was under, and at that point, what's the difference of a pound and a half between two bags? Did you make me take two shirts out and put them in there? Yes. Why? Because I can't can do this. Yeah. And that's what this lady at the Velvet Rope did. So I can feel Amanda as far as the, like, I'm supposed to be in And I think that that's probably why she felt more offended because she's probably like, look, I'm not just, like, I'm a, a star on a whole TV show. Like, y'all ain't got to have me out here looking like this. That's like pulling out the baby Joker and, and you thought for sure they had, there's no big right. Joker. And somebody was like, ah, but, ah, go ahead, head out. I thought my partner had it. No, I, I had I, it. I still ride with Amanda on this because I feel like unless this beef is just supremely serious, that lady should just let her in. No. Oh, it shouldn't have been that serious. I wonder if that's going to affect the show chemistry. That's what I thought about. Yeah. But the thing is that the, Amanda Seals' character on the show is not likable. Like, the characters don't be so getting along with her. Like, they was beefing the last season. So, I'm curious. Yeah, but let me tell you what, man. You tell me I can't get in. I'm going home. home. That's me. Yeah. God think bless I you all. This is all hey, you don't have to go check with nobody else. Right. I would rather, I'm not even going to put y'all through that. I won't even leave my house. You say you don't, who's throwing the party? Right. Oh, they don't even like me like that, bro. It's, it's, never, like, it's never like I'm not going to go get embarrassed. Yeah. And then I'm getting embarrassed and acting getting embarrassed. I'm on further embarrassment. Yeah. Then I'm going to go on my podcast and tell more people. Yeah, she, Only the people who was at the party knew. She was like, nah, the world will know. Yeah. They'll be on my side. The world was like, nah, you're kind of crazy. We kind of agree with the old girl. Even Issa, Issa yeah. like, I don't want to get involved. Because if, if Issa gets involved and turns into a big thing there, it's a scene. And then it's yeah, that, that's terrible publicity for the entire show. It's going to be a movie. But this is a film. No, she it's a though, horror film she just you. She went with the double down. Like she could have left, but she was just like, nah, fam. Nobody in there was going to get with her. I felt bad. Man, it was messed up. Uh, speaking of black uh, movie directors that are changing the game, though, Tyler Perry I must got, be I got protected. Beat what? I'll fight you in there. I was just about to tell you. I got Tyler, Amanda Seals beef. With Tyler Perry? I was not invited to the opening. He don't know oh, you. you didn't show up. I, I, I should have showed up. I should have flew to Atlanta and been like, bro, <laughs> I have watched all some of your movies. <laughs> <laughs> I watch episodes of your show. Bruh. I should be in there. There's people on my level. For- KJ was KJ there. Was there. Yeah. The Valley Kadeem was there. Yeah. Oh, just because y'all actually work with him, they make you different than me? 
Oh, no. KJ did a movie with him, The Vows on his TV show, so he, they get to come. I wish I, I was at The Vows podcast the day before they went to that party. For real? We left the day. That's the day plus one. I, I didn't even know the party was happening. Now I gotta watch all my friends pull. Hey, we had Tyler Perry. We had Tyler's. We had Tyler's. Let me tell you why Tyler Tyler Perry must be protected at all all costs. For one, he's done something that has never been done. His it's a three hundred and thirty acre lot Mm -hmm. that he built this thing upon. But this is the thing that because I've always been a a a very big supporter of Tyler Perry and really a a a defender of him amongst people because he's actually. You know, he gets a lot of shade in the black community for his films, and I don't like that. And guess what? What? I'm going to stop you, and you can continue. Okay. Spike Lee shaded him all the time. That's what I was about to go to. Dude, go ahead. Yeah, he, so he has these different sound stages. One of the, and, and Spike Lee was on record, and this is why I, I lost a lot of respect for Spike Lee, because I'm like, you're you so did. heralded high yeah. in filmmaking, and, and you're black. And Tyler Perry's black, and you use your platform to just bash that man. I never respected that. But look what Tyler Perry did. What One of his sound stages, he, he named it the Spike Lee soundstage. Did he? So that just means no. Even though you're hating on me, bro, I still got love for you. Did I he pull just, up too? I don't know. Yeah, he pulled, pulled up. That's what Spike I'm saying. Spike Lee was there. Yes. He get no man to sales. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They're going to have two characters with the name of Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> so other people also got this email. <laughs> Someone else was a better fit for the uh, role. There's, no, there's nothing worse no, than No, no, man. My story ain't over. Oh, there's more? Yeah. Oh. So then I have to actually watch my friend get cast in the role okay. in the episode. Then I was just like... Well, he was younger, you know what I'm saying? Like, I. It wasn't was, wanted to go that route. It was a dating Easter thing. Like, I'm, I'm older than her, right? Ah. Right, Liz? <laughs> right? It was so Why she don't want me, man? <laughs> <laughs> I made my first shot went out there. <laughs> the <laughs> hell with him! him. <laughs> her! Whatever pronoun. The hell with that him. Was, no, well, you know the, the elation from the top of the email to the seeing the episode? No, 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 I ain't even got no retro. I've not put nothing in my three no, years. I have, I have one a story that was oh, worse. Oh, you, know you got a better one this than one me. Hurt. So me and uh, our good friend to here. Oh yeah, the podcast. Now, this is a this is a, a, a extra layer that I, I don't know that I told everybody about this. <laughs> a mutual friend of ours had wrote a pilot, and before he had wrote the pilot. <laughs> Hold on, because I definitely want to tell this story, and I definitely want to get into it, and I want to say So you got to say way. something first? Yeah, but I definitely want to say something first. What you got to talk about? Man, I've been having some good sex. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Uh, the progression you can from see Don't Boy has an STD scare to Don't Boy has a girlfriend. Man. To good sex. To oh, good sex. He's in a committed nothing. relationship. But where's that coming from, though? Yeah, man, the reason why I say that, I want to talk to you gentlemen about Blue. Shoot, you know what I mean? Now you can increase your performance and get that oh, extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. That's blue, like the color blue. Now, Blue Chew brings you the first chewable gummy with the same <laughs> FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. So, you know they work. They're made in the USA. And since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. Blue Chew. It's prescribed it online like and shipped straight to your door in a discreet packet, so no in-person doctor's visit, no waiting in the pharmacy, and best of all, no more optimists. <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had not been in a relationship for a long time, man, so I really didn't care about my performance because it was just, you know, whatever. I ain't going to see you again anyway. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> whatever with my performance. Wow. Now I got to see you, I'm like, I care. So you remember what happened last day. <laughs> But now, this just isn't, this isn't just for guys who can't perform. It's for any guy who wants extra function you to enhance like their function. performance. I don't like the if way you're a you're one inside. and done type of person, Bluetooth can even help you follow through for round two. Now, listen, 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 listen. Right now, we got a special deal for our listeners. Now, you listen to this. Visit Bluetooth.com. That's blue like the color, chew.com to get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code, RR. RR. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B L U E C H E W dot com. Promo code RR. RR. And try it free. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice. Thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring Righteous and Magic. Right. Now tell the story that Tom okay. mind. So the story that Tom says, so. Me and Tahir had a mutual friend who shall remain nameless. But it was the same person that told me about the Wild and Out audition that I talked about last week. Good friend for you. But we'll still keep him anonymous. Um, he was writing a show, and he said, though, I got this part for you with the show when I write it. All right, cool. So I'm thinking whenever it comes, I'm just thinking, cool. So like, much like you, he said, hey, man, can you come and read for the producer? I'm like, all right, this is just a technicality. Blue tape, if you will. Red tape, yellow, I don't know what color the tape is. Anyway, so I get there, and Tahir happens to be there. So I see Tahir, and he's, he's auditioning in front of me, and I hear his audition. I hear him going through his lines. And I'm just in the back, like, I don't know. Because in my mind, this is my role. <laughs> so I'm just like, ugh. So I literally, and I was dating such and such at the time. Mm -hmm. So I talked to her. I'm like, ah, I heard his audition. I kind of feel like I should call him and give him some notes. She's like, you better not call him. I'm like, I'm absolutely going to call him. Hang up with her. I call him. I give him some tips. I'm like, hey, man, I heard your audition. You kind of want to tone it down a little bit. You're a little animated. You're being a little extra. I just want to give you some tips. He's literally on the other line like, uh, okay, all right, boom. Hangs up. I go in there and do what I think is a technical Overlook, I just go and I audition. I'm with you the next day. I'm like, yeah, man, I kind of have to call to here and give him some advice, man. He auditioned for a role. He didn't get it. Of course, they're going to give it to me. He was like, wait, are you talking about the role for the show on, on Battle? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got there. He was like, 
No, he just called and asked if he had three days off so he could shoot it. I was like, what the? What? <laughs> the show that I did. <laughs> Oh, there, there must be, a, there must be another I literally call. called that. <laughs> I literally called that man and tried to coach him through his audition, and then ended up calling it back and trying to get some notes. Like, hey man, so what should I do? To better myself before. He was a fool. Right, he fucked up. I felt so. Come back and you host the drop. He's gonna be, he's gonna be in Atlanta. And you said I thought you, you were talking. I'm like, stop playing. Can I be like, no, I'm not. I didn't even know that this was a thing for you. Whoa. <laughs> what notes can you give someone after they've auditioned? I don't know. I just thought and that. And how do you know what the character's supposed to be? I thought it was my character. <laughs> I was like, this is how I prepared for the role. I did this. Now, there'll be plenty of other things for you to do. <laughs> this one, I'll do. <laughs> so they never even called you. Talking I don't about know. I talked to my boy like, fail. <laughs> He's like, oh, God, man. Sometimes technicalities lead to new things roles. happen. Yeah, so. Man, I was talking to a homegirl of ours in Hollywood who's moderately famous, has booked a couple of TV shows and movies and stuff, and you better put that thing down. <laughs> She said she was in an audition one time, mm -hmm. right? Walked in, okay? She's about to audition, right? Okay. And the person's like, oh, oh, she's, she, she'll take it? Oh, perfect, that's great. <sighs> I mean, you can audition if you want. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the person. We got the person. Wow. Really? Right? While she was in the room. Bruh. Are, you, she, are you finished? And that girl was her out. home girl. Oh, man. And she knew her? She, yeah, she called her. She was just chalking it up to the game. Like, she had no... You know, we got such and such. Yeah, I mean, she, come on. <laughs> she <or> you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we knew that because when we did the studio, we had people auditioning. Uh, and we knew we already had the roles booked. Well, and then there's other times where we had people auditioning that we wanted. And the network was like, no. Nah, we're like, but this is our show. And it's our money. You want it or not? We're like, do we nah, Who do you want? And that's the only thing that gives me peace. The thing about the Tyler Perry show thing that, uh, this was that I didn't say is they asked me for like my availability in October. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like of the last three weeks of October. Mm -hmm. And we had the Rises and Rises tour for 10 days and the cruise. I was like, I got Tuesday to Thursday. <laughs> you can't do it. So I, I wanted to ask you that. Why even audition for somebody you know you because can't do? Because I want them to see me and be like, man, this guy, he can't do this because he'd be good for something else. Because right, that, that actually happened, and then somebody hit me for something else, and it was like a cussing word every other second. I was like, "Damn!" You still, so you still not gonna do no cussing? My sister-in-law, whom I love, mm -hmm. great friend, she put me up for a role on a Netflix show. Didn't get it. She has not let me go. She's like, right. "Hey, oh, this show's doing great. Can I remember when you auditioned? Yes, I remember. <laughs> I know." And I talked to her like, "This guy auditioned. I thought it was another thing. Where I thought, oh, she for works real? there." They go walk me, and I get to the casting agent's office. There's eight black dudes who look like me. I was like, hold up. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. always weird. I was like, first of all, there's that many people in LA that are this tall. Like Spider-Man me. You, know, like, <laughs> you, you, you know? <laughs> That's why I be doing my own thing. Right. That's why we do this podcast. We shooting some shows tomorrow. I'll be like, bro, you can't unaudition me for this. Well, man, I make my own video. Well, there's stuff that you're saying no to because you don't cuss, man. Tell me about it, man. Nah, well, to hear the person I said, man. I'm talking about your boy, man. I be cussing, man. I gotta start booking, man. I feel like I'm You don't even audition. Guys, that ain't no excuse. What do you be doing during the week? Man, listen, man, I just finished the album. That was one day on Saturday. I drove to Phoenix. It's lit. So shout out to uh, Tyler Perry, man. We must protect him at all costs. He's protected. Okay. He's so a want, made man. He's completely protected. I want to ask you this. This is totally un unrelated, but I just want to ask you this because it's been happening. What color is this shoe? Pink. Green. Green and gray. Green and teal. It's really pink and white for you? No, nah, it's the... Uh, it's this the is band. another it's blue dress band. thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. so this is the picture. So what... what it's the Greg, picture, what, what right? picture do you see? I've seen this picture, but I saw another one that was pink. Right? And what? I saw another one that was pink. No, but that's the yeah. same thing. It's the same picture. So maybe I you're both sided with your mind. <laughs> this means you're left. What, what do you see? I see teal and teal green. Because some people see pink and white. What does that mean? That means the, the first, left photo, brain, the first left photo, photo I saw was pink, though, which is interesting. Or what does like left brain blue, dominant mean? Blue, right left brain mean? dominant. Well, if your right brain, basically it means your right brain, your left brain is like your more practical, sensical, different things like that. And if your sensical. right brain is more sensical. like your creative and your <clears throat> zany. Oh, then I'm definitely right, right? But no, then you would have seen pink and white. I, I, mean, I don't know, man. Be well, I just wanted to see if you see. No, nobody don't be known about brains. I want to say something. What's that? And this ain't in the docket. I just think it's funny. Uh -oh. Just Justin Timberlake been in the studio. Man. Oh my! <laughs> he got SZA, Lizzo, and some other black person 
He looked, the, at them, he, looked at them, hot black. he looked at the man on the wood cell and was like, oh, y'all was a rock with that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get right back. Where the, the baby, baby is? Talking <laughs> about, about where the baby oh, is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he didn't have Timberland. <laughs> he thought we was rocking with him on the strip. Why did nope. leave Timberland? Why do great duos always leave? He was like, up? Timberland, Man of the Woods, Timber. I'll be fine. <laughs> no. And he had a Man on the Woods tour, Man of the Woods, whatever. When did he put that out? Man, like a year and a half ago, nobody was rocking with it. I think I saw it in Target on the floor. <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> Just keep it over man. Keep that over. Side note, yeah, I put this on the docket. I didn't really know what direction to go, but apparently, did y'all hear about LeBron James getting dragged because of the China thing? I did hear about this. Why? What did he do? All he said was... Misinformation. He right? basically said, Daryl Mooney didn't know what he was talking about. Daryl Moore. He was like, he don't know what he's talking about. He he wasn't really informed. And they they started burning... But I never understood why people think burning someone's jersey that you spent your money on is going to hurt them. They was burning his Miami Heat jerseys. I'm like... He hasn't been there for they seven years. Like, man, I've been, I've been looking to get rid of this thing. <laughs> right. Listen, bro, I'm going to tell you what. I think more celebrities should just subscribe to this. No comment. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say nothing about this. Because if I, the thing that I realize about the internet, we want you to speak up only if what you say is what we think. True. If you speak up and it's different than what we think, you shut up and dribble. Yeah. You shut your mouth. What people are saying about him, because I did a lot of research, because I was like, bro, what is what? happening I just in China? China? Like, right. This is what I've derived. Okay. Okay? So do not drag me on the internet, because I, was, did, I read so many articles about this last mm -hmm. night. There are protesters, because I think uh, China is communist. Mm -hmm. There's uh, uh, protesters pro pro protesting for democracy in China, mm -hmm. right? It's happening a couple, there, couple weeks ago. Um, Daryl Morey... Uh, who's with the Rockets organization, he tweeted out uh, that he was in solidarity with the protest. Like I remember exactly. Hong Kong. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I don't know exactly what he said, but mm -hmm. it's along those lines. Right. Okay? Uh, LeBron was either on his way or was actively in China mm -hmm. at the moment that that happened. It's happening, right. Right? So when he gets back yesterday, he speaks to the media, um, and he's like, man, um, I feel like your boy was misinformed on the situation. People mm -hmm. are like, what are you talking about, bro? He's like, well, he, later I uh, clarify. I mean, like, what he said at the time he said it. Uh, I think he was informed, right? Yeah. And people were like, nah. What you really want to say is don't mess with China because China apparently is like 40% of the shoe revenue for Nike is from China. That's a lot. Right. 15% of some money from the NBA is made from China. Chinese either investors or leaks. So it's or, big business. Big business. They don't want to. They don't want to offend the Chinese and mess up with the money. Or so rock not, the boat per se. Rock the boat. So now it's, they're making it seem like LeBron is uh, against China. No, no, no. Not against China. Not against China because he's not trying to mess up the bag. Because when that Rockets employee said that, a lot of these athletes who had deals in China they got canceled. They were like, oh, you don't, oh, you want democracy in China? No money for you, and no money for you, and no money for you, and you shut up. Oh, wow. So the basketball players are like, fam, can y'all be quiet till we cash the checks? Oh. Right? So okay. that's what they're trying to make it seem like LeBron uh, said. But here's the thing that the internet reminds you time and time again of. As long as we agree, we're fine. But I was cool with them. most of the Christians for a long time. Until yeah. you start doing Ask a, ask a Transgender, oh, oh, what? What? Then that's when they ask a porn star. Nah, I don't agree with that. I never liked you. Like never. That's mm -mm. that's so that's so just. So that's what happens right? with the thing. But I feel like it's okay for you forever to not say like. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something that I'm not really up to speed on. Okay. There's an is Israel and Palestine conflict. Okay. Okay, that's been that's going, been going on for, for a since long the time. thousands of years. Yeah. So I was invited um, to Israel. I couldn't go because of vacation and stuff. Me too. But uh, yeah, 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 you were. So Demi Lovato, I feel like, uh, went. Mm -hmm. And people were like, yo, what's your thoughts on this? And she was like, oh, man. I'm just basically like, well, I'm just a celebrity, bro. Don't ask me about this stuff. I just got a free trip. Like, I ain't right. trying to speak on nothing. People got mad at her. It's like the same thing they did to ASAP Rocky. And Jess Hilary. Oh, no, uh, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish said, man, I'm a comic. I don't really know about, I don't right. remember what the issue was. But I don't really want to speak on nothing. And I feel like it is okay for you to say, say you don't know. I, I never right. speak on stuff. I don't know. Even the flip side is going to be like, oh, so you're just going to be naive to whatever is going on. Right. That's what they were saying it's about like, Dibby Lovato. You can't win. 
You'll but never listen, win. You can never be mad at me for saying I don't know about something. Right. That's you can be way more mad at me for being wrong. Mm-hmm, and right. speaking about something that I don't know or that's speaking why, wrong. I be standing on that. A lot of stuff I just don't know and I just be like, I don't know. So, Bro, yeah, and easier. I can research so on the Israel Palestine mm-hmm. thing, like I was researching and I was like, I still don't know. I don't feel confident enough. And here's the thing I think that I there's two things. There's knowing and then there's knowing enough to be confident in a statement. Mm. I don't know enough about the NBA and China thing to be confident in a statement. I don't know enough about the Israel Palestine conflict to be confident in a statement. So therefore, I'm gonna reserve my comments until I. You don't. You're not entitled to me. I'm not the like the ambassador of these. I'm not an NBA right. player. But LeBron kind of is in a pickle because it seems like people want him to to talk. And also, people are accusing him of is like being like all for activism in America, but not for China. Mm-hmm. And here's what I don't like. Here's what I don't like. Okay, tell me what you don't like. Kevin. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Here's my inherent problem with this. Because I just feel like I'm at a point in my life. <laughs> Here's what I don't like. Because LeBron's getting dragged on Twitter mm-hmm. from people who were basically like, they don't care about black problems in America. Right. But you, they shut up about that stuff, but speak about this thing. Like, you don't really, mm-hmm. you're not trying to keep LeBron honest. Right. You just want to, you want to have this as like a gotcha moment. Like, oh, gotcha. Right. Now shut about this. Like, that's what I don't like. I, as a fan, there's a lot of LeBron fans on my timeline who were like, bro, those comments were off. Like, I'm I'm not rocking with you on that. But the LeBron's comments were off? Yeah. Okay. Like, a lot of LeBron's fans. Like, that's how I know. That's how I was like, hey, maybe he really tripped. But since I didn't really know what was going on, I was like, why are we mad at LeBron on the internet? Tell me what to be mad at so I know what side yeah, to I, I mean, I looked into it. I didn't think that there was much to be mad at. I just feel like people just be getting mad. I'd be like, Mike, what else did you want him to say? Like, he just, he said his opinion. I feel like you shouldn't get mad at people for their opinions. That's why I stopped being so hard on Kanye. Because I'm like, whatever his opinions are, they're just his. Like, I, why am I getting so bothered? Because you look at the world that way. That's just how you do it. Like, I, I don't agree with it, but I don't agree with a lot of things that a lot of people do. So that's that's what I always say, like, now on the Kanye thing. How do you feel about Kanye? Because he's, start, he's starting to, he, he had another moment where he did the, the Kanye service and then he started bringing politics, politics yeah. into if it. If I can be honest with you, here's, here's how I feel about the Kanye thing. I tired. Yeah, I just I don't want, want to talk just, about it no more. I, Nothing I just, really has changed. He's doing the same thing. We're getting mad. Like, I'm just exhausted of the conversation. Is I don't, Kanye exhaustion? Yes. And it's more from the people of the world than him. Yeah, because I'm... Like, I'm just... I, I don't care no more. Yeah. I'm not going to go. I'm not buying the new... Uh, I'm like... You don't listen to that. If album. he dropped the gospel album, I want to see what he's talking about. I'm absolutely... Because if it's a fire album. gospel album, I'm going to be in a conundrum. I heard it's not a gospel album, though. What even happened it's, it's to just, that? It's just the theme. I don't know, bro. He was supposed to release it. Like he was supposed to release ago. it. It's supposed to be a documentary that comes out next week, but I don't know if that's even going to come out. He's just saying, saying like Kim making all his announcements for him. Man, shut up, Kim. Look how you at. I want to hear from Kanye. I want to ask you about this. Now, this was an interesting uh, interesting uh, post. Did you see this? Snoop posted a post. Did you see this? I saw So it. he posted a picture of Gucci Mane and his beautiful wife, Keisha. And he said, I saw that in the whole uh, hotel hallway in in uh, Honolulu. Did he give you the black man? He did. I was Gucci like, did. I was like, Gucci I was just looking seems at like my a phone. Great individual. I actually read his book. It it's looked so like good. That. It's really good. His book is really good. You really understand. I was looking down at my phone, walking through the hallway, and the dude was trying to like he was trying to upsell me to a better room. Mm-hmm. I took it <laughs> mostly because I saw Gucci on that. Yeah, you got a flex. And I was looked up, and I saw Gucci like right where you are. I like, Gucci he was like. Did you say, did you hit him with a bird? No. Yeah, he probably wouldn't have liked you. No. So I was like, Gucci. He was like, and then we just kept walking. That's cool. Well, like, Gucci just seems like a great guy. But this is He what, wasn't always a great guy, was he? Though? He wasn't. So this is what Snoop did. So Snoop put up a, a picture of him and his wife. And this is the interesting thing I want to get you guys to think about. He said, everybody wants, and this is the picture that he had. I'm scrolling. Can they, they see it? Okay. Nobody see that? No one cares. Cool, 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 cool. He said, everybody wants, everyone wants this. But what y'all forget, she was with Wild Gucci, on drugs Gucci, cheating Gucci, in jail Gucci, publicly with with, with other women Gucci. This is Gucci after, he just said Gucci a lot. Like, Stop saying Gucci, Snoop. <laughs> this is Gucci after therapy, rehabilitation. This is a street man groomed in his 30s after he's been at his lowest point. Point is, this is a writer who knew what she signed up for. You women is with the next guy after a couple of fights. And, I'm at the end. and then uh, Gucci chimed in and said, yes, sir, my wife, my secret weapon. How do we feel about that? Like, Do you feel that women need to put up with unfair behavior or un, 
scrupulous behavior from their man to prove that they're ride or die? One no. one thing, I don't even know if Snoop wrote that mm-hmm. caption or just reposted it because he just re- he reposted everything. On okay, so he could have just reposted it. But his repost makes it seem like he, he echoes the sentiment. Right, right. So if you just. Snoop be cheating on his wife? Huh? You still be cheating on his wife? Man, I'm black sure man don't cheat. I'm sure. Who thinks Snoop I, does, didn't know, was in know. other areas of the dog pound? I don't know. Here's he, how he I is the dog. <laughs> I mean, I saw the doggy style cover. He was smelling the butt. <laughs> Preview post, preview post, preview post. Shout out to Tony Baker. Preview post, preview post, preview post. Here's how I feel. Uh, There's two thoughts that I have. Okay. Here's my inherent problem. Both of them. One, mm-hmm. you never see this post with the woman who is the bad person. Ever. She cheated on me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she was cheating on me. She was on drugs. She was in jail. She had kids out of wedlock. I held her down and finally. You never see the woman. You not you get it. I, I don't know that I've ever. You've never seen, seen the that. woman praising the man. He was with me when I used to beat him up. I used to steal from him. I used to cheat on him. I had kids with somebody else. He been my ride or die. Now I'm good now. And he deserves me. And this is what y'all want. Y'all want a good husband, but you don't expect them to love you when you're down and trash. That's why you'll never get what I have. A husband will. You never see that. No, it is not, always that the happened. woman who has to endure. 10, 15 years of complete mistreatment of, you know, the phrases people always say, um, uh, oh, here's the phrase. <clears throat> What's uh, understood don't got to be explained. Mm-hmm. Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> Excuse me. That's my first thing. Uh, it's always the woman who has to deal with all your trash. True. So that's the one thing. And I, you can't shame a woman for any versions of these Gucci mm-hmm. if she was like, I'm out. I'm good, right? If she completely free within her right, you know. I mean, and I, at the same time, I'm sorry, I don't want to. No, no, no. I, I was telling you, I'm, yeah, I used to work on that. So do I. It's mm-hmm. our podcast, but we have guests. We're just like, I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk. Shut up, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing about it. I feel like as a woman, you are completely within your right to be like, bro, I'm good. I don't want to be hurt to potentially have an Instagram post later. But see, because for every Keisha. There's a hundred women who the dude just never gets right. He just keeps on going down the road. She's hoping for Gucci. He's like, no, I'm just going to be in jail. I'm never going to learn my lesson. I'm going to keep selling drugs and cheating on you. But what about Gucci? What about him? I'll steal from him, too. <laughs> you want to you be with him so much. This is, this is, I actually come, on, come, come from a different perspective on this. I believe that sometimes some of us just get it later. Like, some of us just get put together later. I was actually talking to a friend about this, and I was just like, Yo, like a lot of times in relationships, I've been trashed because I didn't necessarily grow up with a great example of how to treat a woman. It wasn't that I was just trash inherently. It's like I grew up championing, like in the in the environment I grew up in, you were a big man and you, you were, were currently the, trash. Huh? Shut up. No, no, at the time. <laughs> right, right, right. But you know, in growing up, I would see you were championed if you had a bunch of women. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like you were like the man. Like if you were able to cheat on your girl and have children with different women. These were now. Was it right that we were taught this? No, but no. sometimes the thing that you're that you're taught when you're growing up, they just become the law in your mind. Yeah. And then he had a, a he's on record for having substance abuse issues mm-hmm. and mental health problems. So yeah. a lot of people that deal with mental health issues supplement with 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 uh, substance abuse. So he was going through that. So I think he was definitely living and acting out. And he was had a bunch of money and he was just going crazy. But then when he was able to sit down in an isolated environment for two or three years and when he was incarcerated get clean get his mind and his body right he comes out he's a i can definitely identify with that yeah because you were trash (laughs) i was i don't think you i'm not saying she's wrong for staying with him okay but i feel like we're not talking to the herds we're talking to other women who are out there getting done wrong right and being like basically put up with this in the hope and then you'll get the gucci no in the yeah you'll get the gucci And it's always like, and then you know what a lot of times happens? The guy gets together, gets a lot together, and he's like, all right, see ya. I'm right. going to go with somebody else. Now that I'm whole and perfect and yeah, great, I'll go. Stuff. And you, but you, now what can you do with all those years of your life? And this is like a bad stock. You put a right. thousand in, it's down to two dollars. You're like, man, I might as well let this go. I might go back up to five thousand, or it might just crash and the company might crash. Like, right. you wouldn't be mad at somebody else for doing that in anything. If she thinks that's right for her, be great. I just think that it's dope to stick through somebody when they're going through something. Because most people don't want to go through the thing they're going through. 
So I think that's dope. I, 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 it's no shade to anybody that leaves. Do what you want to yeah. do. And if somebody's not treating you right, you should They would have been married during all that time, right? Right. And those, like, they just he, got recently married like a year or two. He ago. literally, like, there's like, there's like urban legends, like him like giving her like a million dollars when he got locked up, came home, she had turned it into five. Like, it was definitely like great, you know, saying for both of them. But I, I, I can understand both ways. I can understand if you stick around and see somebody through some their tough times. Mm -hmm. I can also understand if you leave. And I want more posts for the women to be like, yeah, I cheated on him. And that I never. Him how come we never see the guy who stuck by the woman? Because we ain't sticking by no women through that. We are trash. We out. Though. We're like, oh man, she was crazy. That sucks. We don't be championing that. Yeah. Don't nobody want to hear that. Needs to be That's better. a terrible story. It's gonna make a man look bad. That's that somehow true. makes women look good though. So do you think right. that other women look at her, that look at her like yes? She's like they like represent. I'm sure her? somebody does. Who's getting treated bad? Like one day I'll have my Gucci moment. Damn. He's in jail currently. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I try to say it quiet, but you asked another question. Okay. How long? How much time do? We, are we done? Are we, uh, that was like an hour fifteen. Oh. Wait, hour hour 15? fifteen? Come on, Josh, you gotta stop here. He gave us five. He gave me the five minute thing, but we was. I just can't yeah, okay. run. Okay, we ain't even got. Totally we ain't even got. I got, a, I got a meeting. Okay, well let's go ahead and close it up then. We ain't even got. We ain't got I nothing. I totally else. just remembered in the middle middle of that statement. I was like, oh snap. We can see do, how far it is. Should we do? Uh, one gotta go now. Nah. Or so save it for the bonus and break it off again. Yeah. What do you think, guys? We can do it real quick. Meeting, the travel's not that bad. Okay. You sure? We just can't make it like a 30 minute one. You sure don't want to save for the bonus? No, man! That's how I'll do it right now. Okay. Alright, you ready? I'll suck. You want to spend more time on this one? Well, no. I just don't want to rush it. You got at least. I, I mean, we can talk. Yeah, like we only have 115. We're good. Okay, man. I will punch you. Oh, the boy's here? Hey. What Hello! Up? Man, he is looking like a grown man. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, man. Like that too. This guy. Don't even be talking. Are you, like that? Are you going to meet with me? Is it a pitch or is it a... What is it? There's nothing in the notes section. I don't know what I need to wear. It's a loud sweater. Yeah. Oh, I got these there, man. See? Road construction. Sit down, man. All right, let's, let's, let's wrap mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Rashes and Rashes take two. Bye bye, my my it racist. Reeves. It is. Oh, you do need to go then. You. That's the move. That's the show we're pitching, miss. What you mean you don't need to? See, you didn't stick with me when I was on drugs, and that's why you don't deserve me when I get off drugs. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right? big. You know, isn't he like big now? Gucci's in great shape. He was fat. Oh, yeah, Listen, stick with me. Cool. One day you you might get my body like Gucci's, but more than likely it'll just be like this. <laughs> Yeah. Don't hold your crap. Don't be drinking my hint water, Zay Zay. Come here, man. Give me a Yeah, we're wrapping up now. Where's Joe? Right here. What up, Joe? Hello. Random. You drinking water? Hmm? You drinking water? What you got? Soda? Fruit punch? You want to finish this? Drinking water? Half funny. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What up, Zay? How was school? Man! <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> Has nothing to do with anything. Okay. Whatever happened to Ask Jeeves? Google. Google, yeah. <laughs> I, I was holding on to Jeeves? Ask Jeeves for a where long I love time. Ask Jeeves. I need to know Me where too. Jeeves is. I like them. It was all okay. downhill when they went to just ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wanted to so go so when, the when they went away from the butler right. suit. Man. I came uh, That was a whole brand. Yeah. It was, bro, Jeeves was my search engine for a long time. Imagine if Jeeves transferred through everything. And oh, it's just serious. ask now. When you put in Ask Jeeves, it pulls up Ask Jeeves. Once they, they took Jeeves out, I'm having a pretty bad Jeeves. You what, they're can at we, the company the and they're like, hey, man, somebody entered our name in the website. What? Is there, <laughs> we're right. back. We're back. Like, we're back. Ah. We're back. The, the light goes off in the dark garage. <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> <they're like, laughs> two oh, people. Oh, snap. We got two hits. <laughs> two hits in L.A. Because Jeeves was the guy, man. Jeeves was my guy for a long time. Have you ever been in a Wayback Machine on the internet? Uh-uh. You can go back and see what websites used to look like. You can put dates in. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna see if you can do. Um, there's a website where you can go to. Um, you can put in like ask.com. Put in the ask Jeeves. And, and you can put in like a date. And you can see what it used to look like. Wow. Ask. So this is all the times it's changed. like 001. Okay, so. Ask Jeeves. Okay, this date. Wow. That's what happened. Wow. That's what it used what to look that? like. Yes. 
Yes. This is when I was in college. Oh, yes. man. First of all, Jeez. look how small the webs. Wow. That's where they messed up. They, they took the that ass out. Game. Man, that's hey, man, that was I used to be on that. I, it keeps me sometimes. I wake up at night like, where are Jeeves at? Dang, Jeeves! I didn't even know what's still out. Jeeves. Bring was, back uh, Jeeves is the hashtag. Yahoo used to be a really popular website. For yeah, music, I, really I saw videos. all my music videos on Yahoo Music before YouTube blew up. Really? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yo, yo, they did. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. MySpace, man. Remember, MySpace remember how the so top eight people get mad if you took them out your top eight, man. bro? Funny thing about MySpace, we were all coding our own MySpace we before coding was were. the thing. Like we were looking at like HTML files and doing light coding just on the strength and man. didn't even realize it. Yeah, we should bring back here. Jeeves, man. Man, Jeeves, right. why'd you get out of here, yeah, man? Yeah, gotta bring him back. But this has been another installment of Righteous and Ratchet. I have been Doughboy. I've been Kevin Fabrics. And we will see y'all next week. But the bonus people on the right pack, we'll see you later this week. Yeah, yeah, we gotta figure out when to shoot that. Goodbye, regular people. Hello, nurse. <laughs> Remember that? You know what that's from? No, I don't. I just laughed. Animaniacs, man. And the Animaniacs. I gotta go. I didn't realize I had a meeting. That's why I was trying to tell you. You didn't know! I didn't know. All right, right, Pack. We love y'all. We were gonna do this extended thing, but I totally forgot I had a meeting. Um, so, so we gotta go. Bye bye! <laughs> what up, Zay?